If you're like me and since last year's DC fandom you haven't gotten tired of seeing Batman beat the ever living dog shit out of this random dude in clown face, you've started to wonder two things. Do I have a problem? Also, where does this film fall with regards to the DCEU? If you've been a longtime viewer of this channel, you know that I've had my eye on the Flash film for quite some time now. Not only because he's my favorite DC character other than the question, but because I've long suspected and now can confirm that the Flash film is going to be a reboot for the entire DCEU. Flashpoint saves the day again for the convoluted mash that has been DC Comics and everything really. Well, how does that play into the Batman? I woke up this morning with a burning desire to once again watch Batman body bag this random clown and ended up triggering a thought. Is this the future of the Gotham City that we were introduced to in 2019's Joker by Todd Phillips? We see clowns, but no Joker. We have the obvious objection to clown faces by Batman and his words of I'm vengeance. This plays totally into the world left behind by Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. By the end of the film, people were wearing his face paint and he became a symbol of the downtrodden working class and poor, giving the big middle finger to the rich, which seems to be a huge theme slash talking point for Matt Reeves' Riddler, who is implicating the Wayne family as a seed of corruption that has plagued Gotham. Todd Phillips has openly stated that he wanted a Batman film set in his Gotham, and while there's no confirmation yet, I think it makes perfect sense. Yeah, I know the timetables are a little iffy, but honestly, Flashpoint. DC has never shied away from using Flash's time travel to coerce a story in a new direction. By all means, don't stop now. Either way, I digress. I have another year to basically watch this clown get his entire soul snatched before I have answers to any of these questions, but what do you think? At the end of the Batman, will we see Arthur stroll out of prison and into the new Gotham to be greeted by his followers? Will we continue to get subtle hints at the Court of Owls? I hope so. As always, like, subscribe, hit the bell, use the three seashells, and if you're feeling extra generous, head over to my Patreon. I only accept $1 donations because we all know this video is demonetized, but it's worth it, and it's good to be back. The hell are you supposed to be?